Hi everyone, how are you today? <clears throat> Thank you for joining on my another live stream. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Hi, so, alright, so, let's see. Okay, let me just uh, <clears throat> set up everything here. Sorry I was a little late today as I was preparing for this live. And also, uh, sorry I wasn't able to do the live uh, yesterday and the day before because I was not really feeling well. I had a little headache and also uh, like a sore in my throat. But uh, now I'm recovering, so yep, time to do the live today. And um, just, uh, you know, uh, just uh, have fun. Have fun with, uh, with everybody else. Alright, so let's see. So hold on, let, let me just... Uh, Get this chat. <clears throat> All right, and after this, after this public live, there will be a, a membership live too, and I will cover the chapter nine of uh, Ichimoku Basic Master Book. So for those who are members, you can also join that membership live as well. All right, so let's see, let's get started. All right, so okay, I see everybody is, is here today too. That's great. That's great. So, all right, let me just put everything is in place. I haven't watched at the market actually yesterday, and I wasn't really taking trades last week. So, uh, yeah, probably I will give you the uh, the Ichimoku analysis based on the Ichimoku trend checklist tomorrow. And I will look into the market uh, situations based on my analysis tomorrow. But today, like as the title says, I wanted to go over the. Uh, I want to run the Forex Tester 4 uh, with you so that uh, you know how you can use it and actually you can um, you know, take advantage of this uh, great tool because the market is closed today as this is Saturday. So. It might be fun to uh, go over the uh, Forex Tester 4 again, like I, I did earlier, and um, try to spot the, uh, the trading edges to buy or sell by that. <clears throat> All right, so, okay, looks like everything is in place now. So, all right, let's see. Okay, lots of people, comments. That's great, that's great. Thank you for your participation, as always. Arkady and Alfie, Gabriele, thank you for joining. Devil and G and Eternity, Nabi Noor, good to see you. And Lakshai, good to see you again. All right, good to see you. Muhammad and uh, Greed, good to see you again. <clears throat> All right, I bought the GBP this whole week, earned about uh, fifteen hundred dollars. That's great. Stay gold, Lakshai. That's great. That's great. My best week so far, and all the credit goes to you. Sure, sure. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's great. That's great. So yeah, um, you know, keep it steady, right? Keep it steady and run. Keep it running. So yeah, at this time right now in Japan too, there is a state of emergency uh, earlier. So uh, this week, in the beginning of this week, there was a state of, state of uh, emergency in uh, Japan, uh, Tokyo. So um, basically, we better stay at home, right? Um, we are staying at home, and uh, we can. Especially in this time of, uh, in this kind of situation right now, um, we we stay home, and you can play games. But at the same time, you can study forex too, right? You can back test the for uh, the you know your own uh, strategies, or you can forward test uh, the your uh, strategies too. And also, you can read books about forex and also some of the uh, money management and mental management strategies so that uh, you can also build up your own knowledge and uh, yeah when when uh, when you have to go out right uh, when you when you get to go out after the virus registration is over you can still take trades while you're working uh, you know outside so I think this is a great timing to build up your own knowledge and wisdom uh, as you're in home at home, stay at home, and uh, yeah, take time to uh, to invest uh, time on yourself. <clears throat> and uh, 
this uh, forex tester will be a great tool to do that actually so I will be running this forex tester again and we can all together look at the market and see how you can use the Ichimoku trend checklist based on this uh, forex tester so on the left there is a one hour chart and on the right there is a daily chart so I will just show you two time frames just to make it simple and I will run I will run this forex tester for and uh, you can actually uh, I will pause right I will pause at, at times and you can I will ask you some questions and you can answer me, answer to me so that uh, you know if you want to take trades or not in a certain condition so that will be something that we do today all right so hi one thank you for joining good to see you again all right all right Hi, 1964 and CTFRX. Good to see you. Sadi here. Uh, sorry, Sadi here. Jenga. Thanks for joining as well. And uh, Jagadesh. Good to see you from Dubai. All right. I hope you're doing okay in Dubai too. I was going to Dubai. I was actually applying for the visa, but uh, the the process is all stopped right now. So I hope um, it will start anytime soon. I, I'm not sure. Uh, when exactly it's going to be started the visa process but I hope everybody in Dubai is safe and healthy too all right hey skills thank you for joining konbanwa good to see you and Stefan Stefan thank you for joining and Debraj good to see you good haircut <laughs> sure thank you Debra all right I just uh I just put the gel in my hair and to to make it to make it like flat so yeah hi Joe good to see you Napoleon and the pra Prashant thank you for joining all right thank you for joining from Dubai too good to see you from Dubai too all right oh Kombama from Philippines all right thank you for joining from Philippines good to see you Victor and uh, crypto Four. thank you for joining as well Egrat and K70, thank you for joining. I wanted to ask when you open a position with 2% risk, do you calculate spread in those 2% or not? So you have to add the spreads as well. Um, I don't really take the spread because I am a you know swing trader, so day to swing. So I don't really take spread into consideration. Um, yeah, when I when I scalp, then I have to really uh, take the spread into uh, calculation, but uh, in, in my daily trades, I really don't really care about the spread. Hi, Jada. Thank you for joining. And Austria, good to see you. If price is just above Tenkan Sen crosses in daily, but in 15, Tenkan Sen is flat, uh, are far from each other, what should I do? All right, so you will see, you will see on this uh, forex tester today i had a quick question about trading crypto with the cloud via mt4 trading crypto with the cloud oh you mean a kumo cloud right in ichimoku um so yeah you can actually combine other tools with kumo you cannot really take trades with kumo itself you can take the price action or lines to take trades with cloud but actually ichimoku works on any currencies or commodities or stocks or cryptos so you can actually take trades with Kumo uh, with other tools yeah that's that's what I recommend hi Walid and Emuset thank you for joining Ichimoku Dragon <laughs> all right <laughs> Ichimoku Dragon hi San and Aleli good to see you and BG Corp Tony Sekid thank you for joining Big Zad good to see you the way has corona cases better be in Japan for time being still situation improves yeah yeah I hope so yeah yeah so uh, yeah Jagadish please uh, please stay safe until I come to Dubai <laughs> please stay safe <laughs> yeah Fabio thank you for joining all right thank you Kay I really love this channel you created for all of us sure crypto for thank you for your words I'm glad that you're enjoying it it's great 
you got my email about Kijun Sen. Um, yeah, I haven't actually, uh, I haven't been able to uh, reply to your email. Sorry, because uh, I was not really feeling well for the past two days. So, yeah, maybe after this live or tomorrow, I will start to reply. So please, uh, please bear bear with me for a couple of uh, couple of uh, days until until I I reply. All right, hi Melanie, thank you for joining. And uh, Marcelo, Taufik, Mr. Ajikwan, thank you for joining. All right, from Dubai as well. All right, thank you for joining from Dubai as well. Great to see you from Dubai. All right, I hope everybody stay, you know, healthy and safe in Dubai too. Hi, so Rav and Pinnacle, thank you for joining. All right. Thank you for joining from India. All right, I love your teaching. Sure, sure. That's great to hear. It's great to hear. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, and uh, there is a forex tester um, stay at home sale right now. They have uh, when you access to this forextester.com, you see a stay at home sale, and there will be uh, four days and like 19 hours remaining right now. But actually, what they have is they have 50% uh, discount on it. So I think this is a great chance to take advantage of this uh, great tool for XTSR 4. And yeah, so um, probably like uh, every Saturday on the live, I will be running the Forex test 4. And just to see you how I take trades, or how I back test or forward test by Forex, by using Forex test 4 based on my own experience and based on my own strategies so that you can enjoy my contents too. But uh, I think this is a great time to to uh, use this tool, right? Stay at home sale. They have uh, like about fifty percent like off right now. And there's actually there's a link on the description below too on on this uh, video. And there you get the referral link, right? You get the referral from me, and you can access to this page and get this uh, discount too. So if this is something that you're interested, you can actually. Yeah, access to this uh, page through the link on the description and you can enjoy this contents too. And this is how it works. So this is how it works. I place the daily chart on the right and on the left, this is one hour chart, right? So today I will just take two multiple time frames and show you exactly how I would think to take trace. Okay, so you see Kumo. Right, you see Kumo is forwarded right on the daily chart and one hour chart. And let me just run this uh, forex test for now. All right. So okay, let me just forward. Okay, I think it should be shifted to the right. Okay. So there we go. Let's see. Are you ready? Are you ready to uh, to run this uh, Forex Tester for now? Everybody? Nineteen sixty four. Just thank you, K. Just want to make sure. Sure, sure. Yeah, I will be replying to your emails for sure. Yep. Hi, Fred. Thank you for joining. I saw the setting of crypto on Trading View twenty sixty one to one hundred twenty because it's a set of the seven day week cycle wasn't sure if we could use the same setting for mt4 yeah actually you can switch around those uh, settings too but uh yeah in principle we use this uh, default setting i i only use this default setting and i never changed it before and it works for me so i think it should be working for you too with the default setting hi Celio. good to see you from cebu Island. All right. Will it teach us violin also? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna play the violin too. I was gonna I was gonna play the violin and upload to the second second my uh, second channel. So uh, you will get to see my play violin too. <laughs> Hi, Mateo West, Camille Westky. Thank you for joining also. All right. Hi from Israel. All right. Thank you for joining, Kayon. Please explain Bollinger Band how to sprout Ichimoku Cloud. Thank you. Like your live stream. Very good job. Well done. Sure. 
Actually, I have a couple of videos that I talk about Bonja Bands and how to take trades with that. So you can actually search my uh, past archives and you can you will see the Bollinger Band strategies and also Kumo strategies too. Yep. Hi CT Forex. All right, yes, okay. Ready since Thursday. Sure, sure. All right. <laughs> Thank you for your uh, comments. All right. Good to see you everyone. All right. So, let me see. So, let me just keep running. So, right now, right right now, let me ask. So, this is ERUSD. Uh, this is a 2016 in September chart, right? So, uh, when you see the current market situation, do you think this is uptrend or downtrend or range? By looking at the daily chart, what would you think? Daily chart as a bigger time frame, do you think this is uptrend, downtrend or in the range? Right, let me just start from a simple question now. Alright, yes, yes, alright, ready? Ganbaro, ganbaro ne, sure, skills, <laughs> you you got some Japanese, it's great. Hi Vincent, in Waijaya, good to see you. Amin, thank you for joining. BDT, good to see you. Bill Williams and Elliott Waves are popular in Japan. Uh, I'm not sure about Bill Williams, but uh, Elliott Waves are quite popular in Japan. Hi, this is Ted from Colorado. Hi, thank you for joining from Colorado. All right, all right. Okay, range, 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 in the range, 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 range. Okay, sure, sure, range, range. <clears throat> With JPY starting in January. Um, yeah, probably next time. Yeah, let me just focus on this side, uh, Euro USD currently. All right, range. Kumo is not going upward or downward. Right, range, range. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you can you can actually, you know, look at this Kumo, or you can actually look at this Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Chikou Span, right? Uh, in relation with these uh, candlesticks. <clears throat> All right. So looks like everybody thinks it's range. Okay. Right. In one hour chart, this is up, but uh, in a, in a daily chart, right? Daily chart, this is. This is range, right? Yeah, the Senko Span B is flat. It's completely flat, right? So this is in a range, in a range, range. Right, right, exactly. Everybody's right. Everybody's right. All right. Hi, uh, Rugi. Thank you for joining from Hong Kong. All right. And Muhammad, thank you for joining. All right, range. Okay, hi from Indonesia. All right, Trade City. Thank you for joining as well. All right, so everybody thinks this is a range, right? And that's correct, that's correct. So based on the daily chart, if you wanna take trades based on the daily chart, you don't take buy or sell, right? You just wait until the Kumo, right? Kumo moves up or down. So let me just forward it, right? Let me just forward and see when you see the Kumo to be moving upwards or downwards next time, right? And see if, if we have any trade chances on this one. Right, so let me just move forward. It goes fast. <clears throat> Alright, so in one hour chart, this is trending down, right? You might see that this is downtrend, but it's actually in, in a daily chart, the Kumo is still flat. So we can still see that this is in a range still, in a daily chart. So even if you take sell by looking at this one hour chart, you might retrace backwards. You might go this way anytime soon. So that's why we better be careful, right, by looking at the by looking at the uh, daily chart because it's flat and it's in the range. All right, so let me move on. Sorry, it keeps popping up for some reason. All right. Now this is going down, right? One hour chart, it's a beautiful downtrend where it's been resisted by this Tenkan Sen. The blue one is Tenkan Sen, right? And the price has been resisted by the Tenkan Sen, right? And a couple of times resisted by this Kijun Sen too. But in a daily chart, when you look at the Kumo, this is still horizontal. This is the Kumo is still horizontal. It's not really going anywhere, right? So we just wait until Kumo to be 
going down for sure to take sell, right? While looking at the one hour chart. Does that make sense, everyone? So, yeah, this is a multiple time frame analysis basically. I usually take trades with multiple time frame analysis. Usually, I take a look at three different time frames to take trades, to capture trend and to take trades. So, in this case, on the right, this is a daily chart. On the left, this is one hour chart. And because the daily chart is still flat, even if you see one hour chart to be trending down, right, uh, you don't want to place a sell yet. All right, so let me run a little bit more. Okay, you see now the Kumo has been twisted, right? The Kumo twisted earlier and it, it's, it started to go down, right? It started to point down the Kumo. And also you see that uh, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen has been going down and also Chiko Span is way below these candles. So yeah, at this stage right now, we can still think that this is a beginning of the downtrend in a daily chart, right? However, we see that there is a recent support in this area, right? There's a recent support in this area. So, um, unless the price breaks this recent low downwards, we better wait, right? We better wait for the sell. Or, until we see the Kumo to be trending downwards, we better wait. Okay? So, let me just uh, keep it running a little bit more. I will just make it slowly and keep it running. <clears throat> So yeah, it looks like the price is now supported by this support line and see if the price is going to break this support downwards or not in the future. Now in one hour chart, the price is now breaking the Kumo upwards and the Kumo is completely horizontal, right? So <clears throat> we better wait also for this one hour Kumo to be moving down too to take a sell. Okay, now the price is below Kumo, right? And I can see that in the daily chart, Kumo is moving downwards, right? But Tenkan Sen is flat. Sorry, Kijun Sen is flat. Tenkan Sen is flat too, but Kijun Sen is also flat too. So just wait until Tenkan Sen, uh, sorry, wait, just wait until Kijun Sen to be f down, to be moving down, and look for the sell chance in a daily chart, in, in a one hour chart. Yeah, hold on. All right, now I see that ten, uh, Kijun Sen start to be pointing downwards and the price is almost breaking this recent support downwards. Not quite yet, right? Not quite yet, but almost breaking it downwards. So let's just wait until we can confirm the breakout to the downside, right? I will just run it even slower to, to capture the breakout, right? So let's see. Let's see if the price is going to break the support downwards. Alright, it's been supported once and twice in one hour chart. So let's see. Alright, there was a spike up and moving down. Alright, now it looks like the price has been breaking the recent support downwards now. Right? And also, and also uh, in a daily chart, right? In a daily chart, the Kumo started to be downtrending. And also, when you look at this uh, Kijun Sen, right? Kijun Sen is completely moving down. This is quite a strong downtrend. And also, Chikou Span breaking the recent low downwards too in a daily chart, right? So, this is exactly where the beautiful breakout happens in the market. And this is where we can place a sell, right? Um, in a, in a one hour chart, this is Kumo is still horizontal. So I can place a sell here, or sometimes I t just take a sell in this case, and I just put the stop loss slightly above the weak pointing upwards and expect the price to be keep going downwards this way, right? To be to be going downwards this way. So uh, yeah, let me just place a sell right now. Just as an example, right? Just as, as an example. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. But just as, as an example, let me just place a sell. And I just put the stop loss to in this area here, right? 
So it says uh, 942 points, and so that means that this is 94 pips above the entry price, right? And which is too too wide, right? Too wide. So I would just close the position when when the price comes back to uh, comes back to this uh, back into this uh, range area because all I'm expecting is the price to be going downwards this way right to be going downwards this way but if it goes upwards and if it stays around here again then I will just close this position right with some loss so let's see how this works Okay, it looks like it's going down, right? It's going down. And you see in one hour chart, right? Kumo started to be moving down, right? Kumo started to be moving down, but Kijun Sen is flat. Kijun Sen is still flat. So I will just wait for until Kijun Sen to be pointing downwards in one hour chart and take another sell, right? Take another sell. <coughs> okay. Um, all right, I see that uh, the Kumo, Kumo's uh, in a daily chart, right? In a daily chart, this is beautiful downtrend, but in one hour chart, the Kumo started to be horizontal and Kijun Sen is relatively horizontal too. So I will just wait until the Kumo to be trending downwards more in one hour chart to look for the next sell chance. All right, so in this cell right now, in this cell, I have uh, from this cell, if I measure the pips, it's about, uh, it says 709 pips, but I, this is actually 70 pips, right? 70 pips of a running profit. So when I see this kind of like enough running pips, I will usually move this stop loss to break even so that I won't lose any money now, right? So that I can take another 2% risk uh, to to take a sell on on the next trade, right? Because um, if I if I place if my stop loss is still here, I am still risking two percent, right? So I cannot take any trades on any pairs or any other pairs or within this pair. So as soon as 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 soon as I move this stop loss to to break even line, the break even line. Um, I can take another two percent risk on this trade or on this pair or other pairs. Okay, does that make sense, everyone? If I take only one percent risk on this one, then I can I can take another one percent, right? But uh, if I take two percent, which I take the most as a risk, uh, I cannot take the, another trade. So I would move. The stop loss to be break even and so that I can take another two percent on any other trace right so let's see so again right in in a one in a daily chart Kumo is moving down uh, Kijun Sen is moving down right and it's a beautiful downtrend right Chikospan broke the recent low even downwards and in one hour chart, the Kumo is relatively flat and the Kijun Sen is still flat too. So I will just wait for this Kumo, right? Either Senko Span B or A, and also Kijun Sen to be moving down to place another cell. All right, so let's see. Okay, now in one hour chart, the Kumo is beautifully moving down, right? Uh, Senko Span A is moving down, but Kijun Sen remains flat too. Kijun Sen remains flat. So I will just wait for the Kijun Sen to be moving down in one hour chart to look for to place another cell. Alright, so let's let me forward a little bit more. Okay, now, right? Now you see Kijun Sen is trending down. So this is exactly where I place another cell. <clears throat> So again, this is not a pyramiding, right? This is not pyramiding because I am not risking any other trades. 
So, yeah, because I'm not really taking another an additional risks. So, right. So, uh, because on this first one, this is break even. So, I'm not risking another 2% on this one. This is a new 2%, right? Or 1%. So, yeah, I just place a sell here, right? I just place a sell here and my stop loss is at uh, above the recent high, right? My stop loss is above the recent high, which is about uh, 50 pips, 50, 50 pips of uh, stop loss, which is relatively still wide. So, so uh, just wait, just so let's just keep keep it run and see if the price keeps going downwards or not. So let's see. Okay, now it looks like the price is in a range, right? Price is in a range. So, yeah, when I see this kind of market uh, right now, and also um, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross was happening, right? Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross, and also Chikou Span started to be overlapping with these candles, and Kumo became horizontal. So this is a great timing where I take this uh, take this uh, position, right? With some uh, with some loss. Oops, not this one. So yeah, I would just take this one. Um, hold on. Where was it? Uh, ah, that's something strange. Okay, so anyways, I will just take this one with the loss, right? With the loss. And when I see this, right, uh, when I look at the daily chart, in a daily chart, um, Kijun Sen became completely flat, right? So this will be another great timing to take the first position with some profit, okay? Because uh, the price might be retracing backwards. Oops, hold on. Sorry, it keeps popping up <laughs> for some reason. So the price might be retracing backwards to this way, right? So I will be taking the profit on the first one. I will be taking the profit on this one here. And also be taking some loss on this position here. So that in total, it becomes a plus, right? It becomes positive uh, turnout and uh, so and what I will uh, what I will be expecting will be I will expect the price to be even keep keeps going downwards this way and then I will place another cell the new cell but right now I will just take these two positions all right like this so this one was some loss this one was on the profit so in total this this Whole trade was in profit right so let's see if the price goes into the kumo and breaks it upwards or continues to be going down all right let's see okay now i see there is a breakout but in one hour chart the kumo is very thin right kumo is very thin so i will just wait for more confirmations to sell Okay, now the price broke that one hour Kumo uppers. So this is exa exactly where I don't think about selling it anymore, right? Even if you see the daily chart is moving down, right? I see one hour chart is trending up now, broke the Kumo uppers. So after this, I won't look for the sell chance unless the price breaks the Kumo downwards again or breaks the recent low down again. All right. So yeah, and this is how I take trades, right? This is how I use Ichimoku, Cloud, and Kijun Sen, and to take trades with multiple time frames. All right, so looks like uh, yeah, it's it's already time to switch to the membership live. So all right yeah it's a very good way to take trades k otherwise you could get into spiral or bad trades and instead of losing two percent you will suddenly lose 10 or more sure sure so yeah before taking other trades make sure to 
make sure to cut loss or uh, you know make sure to place a break even line to take another trace right to take additional trace with 2% or 1% risk okay was this a rundown pick yeah of course of course Shouldn't we move uh, break even to the same new stop loss level to be in profit at least hedging uh, possible loss of a second trade? Um, yeah, well, actually, to to uh, to move the break even to this area, right? This was too early, right? This was too early, so I would take profit on the first position manually in this case. Which version of this tester K has? Uh, this is Forex Tester 4. Forex Tester 4. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's live and it was great to see everyone, right? I was not really feeling well for the past two days, so yeah, this was the live right after two days, but uh, I feel like, you know, I have been, I have uh, been away from, from you guys forever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Forex Tester 4. So yeah, right now they have a sale, right? Forex Tester 4 now has a sale. They, they've got like a 50% discount. And especially, right, for those staying at home, um, you know, this I think this is a great chance to use this Forex Tester to, uh, to actually, you know, train yourself. So, all right. Um, yeah, if you're interested, there's a link on the description below, right? There's a referral link on the description below so that you can click on that. And if you're interested, you can take this as a great tool to train yourself. All right, so I guess I will be doing another Forex test of 4 next week whenever the market is slow or whenever I don't see any t trade chances. I will this do this again. So I hope you will enjoy that one too. Yeah, basically I do the Forex uh, lives every day. But sometimes when I don't feel good or sometimes when I don't have enough time, I'm not going to be able to do. So in that case, I will be I will be uh, uploading a video, right? I will be uploading an edited video of, of my past lives so that you get the essence of it. Otherwise, I will be doing lives every day. So yep i hope uh, you liked today's live and if you liked it please press a good button before you leave and please subscribe so that uh, you get notified as i keep doing this live or as i keep uploading a new videos all right so for those who are members i will be seeing you there again all right in, in this uh after after this public live the link link is on the discord or or uh, on on the community tab community tab on uh, youtube so Yep, I will hope to see you again and have a great weekend. Bye for now. Matane, stay gold.